So today we are back in Floating Sandbox with some of the most important scientific discoveries like can we save a ship from hot lava? What it's like putting a ship on the tiniest spike and can we fully repair a ship that has gone down in order to save everybody? So be sure to hit that thumbs up button, comment down below and let's do this. So here we are with probably one of the laggiest ships I've ever seen in the game. I'm getting a whopping 23 frames per second, but folks, this thing is a massive, awesome cruise ship. And guess what? It's got watertight compartments. So I'm assuming we just shut the doors and I should be able to cut a hole in the ship. So yeah, today I was wanting to experiment with maybe making ships not sink. Uh, in extreme conditions, but I think we need to test this one out first to see if this is truly the ship that we need to use. So Komodo already forgot where the watertight compartments are, so if I were just to cut a hole here, uh, we should be able to see them, right? Um, are they closed or... Wait, dude, they're definitely on. Look at that. So you can see filling up with water. How many are there? There's probably, I would guess, maybe eight to ten compartments. Uh-oh. Wait. So the electronics just went out and I heard the watertight compartments. They actually just turned off. Wait, what the heck? Why would you have those like, I guess, uh, on some sort of electronic device? Like, wouldn't there be a backup in the ship? Like, hey, there's no way something's going to happen in the middle of the ship. And it, you know, cuts off the electronics and opens up the watertight doors. At least I think that's what happened. Hold on. Let's go ahead and turn them off. Oh, no, they're definitely broken. Yeah, because it's leaking into the next sections. Uh, maybe we need to modify this ship. We can go into the ship builder. All right, so let's cut another one here. Uh, how many compartments can flood before this thing actually starts to go down? That's three. Three might be the max. Technically, it's like three and a half because it's starting to flood into the lower cabins right now. Uh, let's go four here. There goes another compartment. That might have been five. I might have clipped an extra one. No, I didn't. Wait. The ship's kind of balancing itself out. Uh, let's go ahead and cut another one. Uh, this is actually kind of amazing. What is going on here? Look, it was kind of tilting down. Uh, let's go another one here. Okay, Komodo is a genius. Actually, I didn't really do anything. Uh, I didn't create the ship. I, like, accomplished zero. But, like, this thing might be pretty well sink. Well, I say it's sink proof. It's starting to sink now. Hold on, deploy the lifeboats, please. Actually, I don't want to cut those off. Can I fix this? Like, is there a chance I can use a tool to try to fix this? I doubt it. Okay, we're just gonna start uh, hitting the repair button here. Um, we probably might want to start to... Oh, this is happening way too slow. Okay, we've almost repaired one of the holes in the ship. Uh, this one's just a very well-built ship. I like the way the interior works on this. This might be the ship that we need to use for the, uh, the bigger experiments. Uh, I'm trying to fix it real quick. Okay, so we fixed a hole. I think we might want to start pumping out some of the water because it's definitely filling pretty fast here. Wait, we might have enough time. Hold on, let's fix the big hole here. Uh, if I can fix this, this will be great. Hold on, if I rapidly click this. Oh, I think this is fixing it faster, potentially. Hold on, folks. I'm trying to save you. Uh, I'm having some issues now. It's not fixing as fast. Oh, no, the music's turning on. Does that mean people are dying? Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe we need to turn on ultra-violent mode, and we need to start pumping the water out. Hold on, here we go. We got the settings we need. So, repair tool, radius all the way up, and the speed. And the radius of the flood tool should go up too, but we can reverse it by, I think, hitting shift. Okay, so we should be able to fix it quicker. Oh, dude! That works so much quicker. All right, let's repair this hole here. I want to see if the music stops whenever it stops, or whenever it starts to not sink here. Hold on, I think it's starting to come back up. There is no bilge pumps in these. The electronics are fried. Wait, are they still fried? Can we reset it? Nope, electronics are still fried. We still have intense music playing right now. Uh, the camera's like freaking out. You know, we've never used this tool quite in this fashion. We've always done it really slow. All right, we have fixed the ship's hole and then let's pump the water out. Okay, look at this. We're draining. Wait, the electronics have cut back on. We're actually saving the ship. Hold on. Here, get these watertight compartments uh, taken care of. Uh, turn them. Wait, the music does stop. Is this the first time in this series we've actually been able to save something? I mean, granted, we're using, like, ultra overpowered tools to do it. <laughs> like, 
We prevented the tra- Wait, what just happened? No, 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 I accidentally hit flood. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. It's fine. You can just resume your cruise. Everybody's happy now. Hear them? Wow, I can't let everybody be this happy, can I? Uh, it would be a shame if, uh, I don't know, maybe we got some antimatter bombs and, uh, placed them on here. I feel like the ship might be too laggy to do this. And this is probably a bad idea, but say goodbye to the ship. Uh-oh. Oh, it's vibrating. Oh, we are going to break the game. Oh, it's snapping in half, and there she goes. The ship has completely destroyed itself. I mean, technically, Komodo destroyed it, but I'm not going to acknowledge any fault in that. Uh, so, do we think we can hit the repair button again? Um... Now I'm genuinely curious. Can I repair this? Oh, music has kicked back in. Hold on. The parts are starting to fly. The particles are moving around. Is Komodo building a ship out of midair? Am I saving everybody's souls as they go up to the heavens, I'm assuming? I mean, some of them probably aren't going there, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, if you look very closely, there are particles flying. Where are they going though? Hold on, is the ship rebuilding itself somewhere in the map? They're all flying up. I am so confused as to what's happening here. Uh, there is a chance that this is not recoverable. Oh, actually, hold on. There's a piece there. Can I build the ship back using just... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Is this actually working? Is there a chance I can completely rebuild this with the tool? Oh, why did the camera just shift? The camera freaks out whenever I do stuff like this. Oh, there's a big piece down there. Hold on, Komodo's gonna save everyone. It's just gonna take probably like 20 minutes to do. Maybe longer. So the ship is destroying itself because of the pressure it's under right now about as fast as I'm building it. Actually, we might be outdoing it slightly here. What part is this? Oh, this is uh, up by the, the funnels. Nice, dang it, I'm trying so bad, but it keeps sinking and it's disintegrating itself. There is no way to save the ship now. Yep. We're gonna have to let it go down to the bottom of the ocean. Can we get an F in the chat? Maybe give a little salute to our fallen comrades. Uh, you know what? They died in the name of science here. Hey, at least we know we can somewhat fix ships. So we have the dream here, or I should probably say the nightmare because yeah, this isn't gonna end well for them, but I've got other tests I wanna do here. So I think I just wanna go with the basic storm. Let's keep it a little bit more realistic to start here. Uh, so the storm should be rolling in. We probably can adjust it a little bit. Uh, what would we need to do to save the ship? The ship actually might not be in trouble right now. Oh, it's Storm, where are you at? I feel like we gotta turn up the storm a little bit. Oh, look at that. You can see it rolling in in the background. I don't think it's intense enough though. Like, I feel like the storm should be way more insane. What do you guys say? So, let's turn up the storm. The strength. Oh, it's getting dark. Holy man, this is like a hurricane settings here. Uh, all right, let's go up all the way. It has gotten really dark. That is up. Oh, the, uh, the top was just struck by lightning. Okay, can it survive the storm? It is actually flying right now. Uh, oh, got struck again. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, the lightning is getting really aggressive here. Holy man. Okay, uh, this storm is insane, but I don't think it's intense enough. What do you say, like, a tsunami comes in? Uh, let's go tsunami. And then let's go Alt L for lightning. Oh yeah, look at the lightning coming in. This is like, I don't even know if you can categorize this uh, hurricane. This is way too intense. This is like above a five. Like if they could have like a six and a half, maybe this is what it would be. Um, where's my big wave at? You know, I must say this ship is built rather well. It's not taking on water. It's got one, oh, just as I say that. Oh, it took on a little bit of water there. Can it survive this? Uh, where is my tsunami? Oh, it's way back there. Okay, so tsunami's on the way. There's a chance this is definitely the definitive ship that we can use because, yeah, the uh, the storm didn't really actually do it. Now, the other tools that we might test it out on, it might be a little bit different. I do want to also make the water hot again. There's something about melting ships that's just mesmerizing. You know, it's funny. I spawned in one tsunami and it's like the heavens were like, hey, this isn't enough. So they spawned in a second tsunami uh, that's heading this way. What's bad is the waves are so tall right now that this tsunami is actually not even that big. Also, I think the storm's clearing up slightly. I mean, it's still blowing like crazy out here, but we should get some light back in before the uh, tsunami strikes the, uh, the cruise ship. Um, the water is still like really really violent right now 
Um, okay. Oh, here comes the giant wave. If it survives this, this might be the best cruise ship in the game, hands down. Uh, waiting for the wave. What is wrong with this wave? Why is it moving like that? Uh, oh. Okay, all of a sudden it stopped. Hold on. One more strike here. We might have to cut off the lifeboats here, folks. Uh, this actually might help. It might lift it out of the water. Um, okay, there it goes. Oh, we're getting the beautiful sinking music. Will it stop, though? Come on. That's all you got to do is survive the... Uh-oh. Hey, it's draining the water out the front. Should we just cut it in half right now? Just maybe try to save it. All right, cut it in half. There we go. See, we saved a half of it. Oh, this isn't like the other ship. So I'm pretty sure on the other one with the watertight compartments, you could probably cut it along the compartment line and it won't do this. Yep, we have, uh, we've definitely ruined this one. But this is a tough cookie right here. This is a great ship. Okay, so we're gonna make it extremely hot here and then we're gonna play with the ship's strength adjustments and see if maybe it can save it. So this is probably one of my favorite things to do in the game ever and that's just to uh, jack up the temperature of the water and watch stuff slowly melt. But that's not enough. Like I wanted to actually look like it's lava. So we're gonna go to hot lava. Uh, even though it's not really hot right now, you can see the ship's fine. Could you imagine going on a cruise? Like, say the ship could withstand lava, and they're like, hey, let's just go out in the lava field and have fun. Have a nice, warm, toasty cruise. Uh, all right, so we got that there, and then we need to adjust the heat up. Okay, so let's adjust the uh, water temp up. What is the melting point for a ship? Oh, okay, I think we just found it. Um, Well, it's actually putting itself out. So that's 606 uh, Kelvin which I don't know what the conversion rate is, so I don't know truly how hot the water is. But the fishies! Uh, oh, I did not mean to cut a hole in this. Um, reset, sorry. Um, but the fishies, uh, they seem to be okay here. I'm not quite understanding. That guy right there, he looks a little shocked, but other than that, they're doing pretty good in there. All right, so is this enough? Oh, the electronics just went out. It's not enough to melt it, though. Like, at what temperature does still melt? So let's go up. Uh, no droopiness yet. Up, oh, let's go 700. Dude, this thing could take a lot of heat. It is starting to glow a little bit, but I mean, it's not a lot. Uh, go up further, 800. Okay, 800's not doing a thing except for burning the sides. If you picked a cabin like right above the lifeboats, you're probably not having a fun time at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and go 900 on the temp. What the heck? All right, dude, look at the front of it. It's definitely heating up along the front. Uh, we got holes in the ship. That's just because the fire is spreading. Okay, let's go a thousand. This isn't enough. Okay, you know, let's just go max. There we go. Oh, yes, the stringy, just melting ships. That is still one of the coolest sights in this game. Uh, okay, so now we're going to pause it. I got an idea. I've always kind of wanted to do this. I don't know if I've ever attempted it. You can move this now. So I'm going to pin it up like cheese and i'm gonna watch it string down and melt uh so let's get the pen tool i know i'm supposed to be saving it which we're gonna adjust the strength here in a minute but this is for science that we're gonna do this okay so we're gonna put pins all in this bad boy it should be enough to hold it up i i kind of hope <laughs> we'll see here uh okay pins put a couple here make sure it's nice and secure and let's release uh oh there it goes oh that is so satisfying that is super satisfying. And if you picked one of the upper classes in the rear of the ship, you might have survived. Oh, hold on. Okay, well, I might have been lying. It's slowly pulling itself apart. Uh, it does have a nice effect, though. Like, look at the uh, stringiness. Um, super satisfying. Hey, what about the back deck? What's normally up here besides, like, old people playing, like, tennis? Um, uh-oh. Okay, everybody's just burning now. No, this is fine. Um, I, I always wanted to do that. I'm really glad we did, but I feel like if we make it a little, I want like the ultimate string pull here of ship. So I'm thinking maybe we adjust its strength. So I like how this turned from like, hey, let's save it from sinking to let's save it from melting. So this is two times strength. I think this is the adjustment to make for melting. Well, I mean, it's certainly not melting as fast, but man, it's starting to droop here. Uh, 
could you imagine how hot it is down there? I mean, the metal is all the way glowing, so that can't be too pleasant, can it be? Did we get the ultimate cheese pool with this one? Hey, let's release it. Oh, there it goes. And whoop. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Dude, that is so just fascinating. I could stare at that all day. Yeah, uh, so obviously times two is not enough. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just go times 10 and see what happens. What the? Okay, that definitely did not work the way I thought it was going to work. Okay, let's grab another one. I don't notice this one. Oh, dude, this thing is beautiful. Uh, does it lag? No, this is a non-laggy ship too. Uh, we have bilge pumps on this one, uh, which is nice. I don't know like how effective they are. Um, what if we were just to knock a hole in it? Let's go clunk. That was a pretty big hole actually, but hold on. It's a slow sink. I do think the pumps are somewhat working. Like, I feel like that should be much faster. Do we have time to deploy the lifeboats? Actually, what if we were to go forward here? Does it move the water out? Uh, I don't think that's a thing. We could easily patch this one though. Like this isn't bad at all. So if you guys had to pick between the first, second, or third ship, which one would you be on? Uh, this one seems pretty good so far. All right, let's keep the pumps on, slow down the ship a little bit. Uh, I want to put it through a couple more paces with tools that I haven't played with in forever. What is an electrical spark? Is this not the lightning? Oh. Oh, we can shock the electronics. Question is, where are the pumps located? Huh? Come on. Oh, I think we found it. So whatever like the main generator is, is here. Oh, dude, it's definitely sinking faster. So those pumps were doing a pretty decent job of pumping out the water. Now it's just uh, doomed to a slow death here in the water. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that tool. Now, of course, we have something really... Oh, the electronics came back on. Uh, I mean, it's prolonging the inevitable here. It's still going to sink. There's a blast tool. What the heck does that... Why do I not remember this one? Uh, we can put all the holes we want in the top side of this thing. It isn't going to make a bit of a difference here. Uh, it's definitely making the ship unstable. Uh, wait, what if I reverse? Oh, okay, so there's an ultra-powered effect there. Uh-oh. We about blew the ship in half. Uh, it is barely hanging on. It is taking on water at a rapid pace. Uh, I think we're going to watch this one go down to the bottom of the ocean. You know, Komodo has really accomplished a zero here today. Like, my original goal of, hey, let's save lives, always turns into, we probably take more. But, to be fair, the first ship, we did somewhat repair that bad boy. And then we try to repair it from a million pieces, which was impossible. Yep, there it goes. There is a fish that is racing. Why is it racing the ship down? Uh-oh. Where's the bottom of the ocean? Oh, this is a deep... <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. Is it really gonna land on the one spike in the ocean? Um, there's a chance that it's gonna do it. I think it might miss it. Well, we gotta make sure that's not a thing. There we go. There's a spike right there. And... Oh, that is so satisfying. We're going to cut it right in half. Well, I wouldn't say right in half. Oh, it's skidding down this way. Oh, but it's going to impel itself on a spike. You know, that's something we haven't done in a while. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, that is awesome. And it's starting to cut itself. Is it going to break completely in half is the question. You know, I feel like we need to do this out of water. That way we can truly see it in all of its glory. Okay, now we got to do the ultimate test. I'm going to create a massive spike. Ooh, that is a... That's a sharp boy. Uh, let's go ahead and pause the game. We're going to move our ship, and then we are going to ease it down. So do we think this spike is going to cut it in half? That is like a needle point. Uh, is this the center line? I think it might be. So let's go from here. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, and of course, camera just freaks out. Oh, there it goes. Wait, what? <gasps> Dude, wait, what did we just do? Wait, I'm so confused. Every time we've done this in the past, this has worked. Why did it not chop? It's going right through it. You can hear the stress noises. Hold on. Can I create another spike over here? Uh-oh, uh it's starting to stress out. Oh, no, it deleted my spike. Uh-oh, oh, oh, okay, well, that front spike, that one worked. Wait, so you're telling me you can save a ship by putting spikes on it? Yo, that's totally a thing. Look at what Komodo figured out today. I bet you nobody else was a genius enough to figure this thing out. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Now it's officially saved. We have saved the ship. 
But now I say we have to try that again. Hold on, let's get one more large spike. Uh, can we recreate? Oh, that's even pointier. Uh, can we recreate what just happened there? Because I'm pretty confused. Okay, that is like a hairline uh, spike. That is ridiculous. Okay, let's resume. There it goes. All right, the spike is going through. Is it gonna be a clean cut? Wait, what the heck is happening? Um, that is not gonna lie, one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen and or done in this game. I mean, the the repairing the ship was pretty good. This, this is a work of art. Moto has done it today. What if I uh, add a little wind here? I want to see if we can get this thing to go down. So, you know, just a little, little wind, a little okay, poofing it around. Put it right on the middle, Hoss. Maybe reverse it. Uh, make it come towards. I'm trying to make it. It's sliding down faster, but it's like it hasn't registered the cut. I I'm so confused right now. So I'm just as confused as the rest of you guys as to how this hadn't split. The wind's not doing anything, but you know what? I think ultraviolet mode has something to say about it. So boom, it is on. Wind. Wind. You can see it. It is like moving the ship around, but on if i put it up here it should push it down eventually this is gonna cut in half right like how is that not a clean slice this this is honestly ridiculous all right let's use the attract okay so we could attract it down uh oh that might have been enough attract it again oh sliding it down the spot oh there it goes that was enough to break it there yeah it's a miracle that didn't happen sooner and there she goes uh wait so the back half is holding on by a thread the front kind of is too they're still both going down but they have a ways to go before they reach the ocean floor um yeah i'm not really sure what we learned here we learned that sometimes spikes don't actually cut ships in half and it's amazing 